Okay, I'm going to do two problems on the extra credit, um, a little bit about stoichiometry. So for stoichiometry, it's similar to the gram to mole. You're just looking at ratios that are going to be in this problem also. So you can get from, if you're talking about iron oxide and you want to figure out how much it makes of iron, you're going to have to convert from one to the other and go mold to mole. So for this one, the question asks, this is number five on the stoichiometry problems worksheet. It says, what mass of or yeah, what mass of water in grams will be produced by the reaction of hot hydrogen gas with 815 grams of iron oxide? So in this equation, you're going to start with iron oxide and you're going to end with H2O. So you want to go from iron oxide to H2O. And you're starting with... Um, grams of iron oxide and you want to end up with grams of water. So this is your grams, grams to grams. So to start us off, we're going to use the given. So we're going to make our chart first. This chart is going to be a little bit longer. So we're starting with, it's going to have 815 grams of iron three oxide. Sorry, Fe3. And then from that, you want to find the molar mass of um, Fe2O3. So the molar mass on the table, that means you're adding together two irons and three oxygens. The mass of all of that together, that's going to come out to 159.7 grams of Fe2O3. This grams or this molar mass of Fe2O3 is equal to one mole of iron oxide. This is the part where we're going to get into ratios. So you're going to use this next section. This is from the equation above. Okay, so you want to cancel out one mole and you want to get to how many moles are going to be in water here. So if you look at the first number, so before iron oxide, there's no number. So that's going to mean one. So in our equation above, there's one mole of iron oxide. And then you say, okay, how many moles are in hydrogen? So you're going to look at the coefficients. I see a three. So there are three moles of H2O in this equation for every one mole of iron oxide. Then I want to cancel out again. I have three moles. I want to get to grams. So I say, okay, one mole of water is equal to, and you're like, what's that equal to? Okay, so if I say um, H2O, so H2, hydrogen's each 1.01, .01, times that by two because there's two of them. That's 2.02 .02 plus 16. So I'm gonna say, okay, that's 18.02. So same as the other equations, you're gonna multiply the top and then Divide by the bottom, whatever's on the bottom. So that's eight, uh, 815 times 1 times 3 times 18.02. So you're multiplying all of those. You're going to divide that by one point, or sorry, 159.7 times 1 times 1, which is just 159.7. Remember your grams have canceled for iron oxide, your moles of iron oxide, so we're not looking at iron oxide anymore, your moles of water cancel, and you're left with grams of water is your final answer. So when you multiply and divide, your final answer that you're going to come up with is going to be 275.89 grams. And feel free to pause it if you guys need to look at this again. Um, I'm going to erase it, and then we're going to look at uh, number seven on the back side. Seven is like comparing two different ones to see which one is the limiting um, reactant in the equation. Remember, this is number five. Okay, so for our next problem, number seven. 
is giving us an equation of aluminum plus chlorine is going to create aluminum chloride. So that's giving us 2Al plus 3Cl2 is creating 2 moles of AlCl3. So there's 2 moles of aluminum here with the 2, 3 moles of chlorine, and 2 moles of aluminum chloride. So with this, it says, when 50 grams of aluminum reacts with 150 grams of chlorine, so it's telling you that there's 50 grams of this, and that chlorine is going to have 150 grams of chlorine, which reactant is the limiting, what's limiting the amount of product formed? So what makes the least amount of aluminum chloride? So which of these is going to make the least amount of aluminum chloride? This is going to be two different gram to mole equations that we're going to have to write out and see which one has the smallest amount of moles that it creates. So we have aluminum and we have chlorine. So we're going to make our charts to start. So first we have our givens. We have 50 grams of aluminum and we have 150 grams of Cl2. So it's chlorine gas, but it's diatomic. So you have to remember Cl2 when calculating the molar mass on the bottom. So right here, this is your molar mass. The mass of chlorine is 35.45. You're going to times that by 2 because this is Cl2. Okay? That's going to give us 70.9 grams of Cl2. For aluminum, there's only um, one aluminum there. There's nothing on the bottom. There's no subscript. So that's going to give us 26.98 grams of aluminum. And these molar masses for whatever the weight of the um, chemical formula is, is equal to one mole of that. So it's one mole of aluminum and one mole of diatomic chlorine. Then similar to when we canceled on the last one. Think about, okay... So in this equation, I need to cancel. I've canceled my grams and grams. I need to get rid of this moles of chlorine and turn this into moles of aluminum chloride. You're like, okay, I have one more step. So how many moles of chlorine are here? So there's two moles of chlorine in this problem. Sorry, not two, three moles of diatomic chlorine. So you're gonna say, okay, three moles on the bottom of Cl, now Cl is gone. For every three moles, it produces or makes in the products two moles of AlCl3. How many moles of aluminum? Two moles of aluminum. For every two moles of aluminum, those two moles can produce two moles of AlCl3. So I have two separate equations. For both of these, I need to take whatever's on top and multiply it, multiply what's on bottom, and you're going to divide them. So that's going to be 100 divided by um, 53.96. And remember, we're ending in moles of aluminum chloride. So you're going to end up with, okay, you're going to say I have 1.8 five moles of AlCl3. That's your final answer for that one. For this one here, you're like, okay, I have 150 times two. That's going to give me a hundred or uh, 300. 70.9 times three. That's going to give me 212.7. When you divide those, that's 1.41 moles of AlCl3. So you're going to say, okay, which one of these limits how much product can be made? So if you have 150 grams of chlorine, it can make 1.41 moles of aluminum chloride. If you have 50 grams of aluminum, that can make 1.85 moles of aluminum chloride. So right now, your limiting is your chlorine. Because your chlorine is going to say you can only make 1.4. Your uh, excess is going to be your aluminum. 
So you have more aluminum than you need if you don't have enough chlorine. So for this one, it asks your question again. So which reactant is the one that limits the amount of product? So the one that's limiting the amount of product in your spot in your uh, box, you're going to put chlorine. Chlorine is what is limiting in this chemical reaction that's taking place.